Welcome back to the channel and to a competition video on this gorgeous day. It's a Stableford, so points based, so whack those up on the left for you. Don't forget to stick around to the end for all the analysis and all that good fun. We're going to keep it nice and chill today. I've got the tropical polo on and a lot of sun cream. It's very warm and the course is fast. Rock hard. And in great nick, honestly. That's driver off the first. Just a slight uphill par four. Fairly sedate start. Looked a bit stiff hitting that one, but it's a pretty decent shot. Just missed it left in the rough, but not really any issue. Only about 50 yards to go, but can't really land this anywhere near the flag. Got to run it up. Wanted to hit that a little left of the flag and let the contours take it, but as you can see, it's just going to miss a bit right. However, uphill put start and about 15 feet so a decent opportunity to get under par early and a little three pointer but that's not going to go slightly over red the borrow but a nice tap in par and no complaints and no stress so two points one to the second downhill par four back the other way from the first three wood in hand off the back tees looking for about a 245 to 250 yard carry and the ball will roll out probably 40 yards if I hit driver from here, it's 358 yards, but I reckon I could get pretty close. So I've got about 70 yards in here, just missed the fairway right, but this is just going to roll for days down the slope. Or it would, except I've not hit that hard enough at all, I got very scared of it. And I've left myself way short and in no better position than I just was. So I've actually got the flat stick out here. Got quite a lot of fairway to get through, so a bit difficult to judge, but it's straight downhill. And this looks lovely. Crenty watching on in the background. That's really good, actually. What a great putt. That's really good by my standards. And you can tell by my stupid mug. So a tapping par on two, and that's four points. Decent start when all's been said and done. And on to the third. Tricky driving hole. Probably one of the hardest holes on the course, as I've said before. Don't want to miss left because you get blocked out by the trees and right you just end up in trees. It's a nice swing, just a bit left, but it should be fine. Maybe just miss the fairway left, which it has. But I'm far enough back to get over these trees, so I've just a 52 in hand, but it's about 130 yards. Expecting a little bit of a flyer and a hard bounce out of the rough. Definitely got the flyer part right. That's going way long and a bit right. We shouldn't be in any trouble, which it's not. And you've got a lovely view of Beamsley Beacon and the valley over there. Pitch and run here up the slope. Needed to give that a lot more beans to get there, but let's have a look at the putting stroke today. Ten footer for par and to keep things moving. Ooh! That just tickled the old lips, but it's a par nonetheless and six points. Total that is, two points on that hole. Drivable par four here, says it's 316 on the card, but it's only about 260 to the front and playing slightly downwind. That's a lovely three woods to get things going on this hole. That looks straight at it. Just a bit long here, on a bit of a down slope, so just wanting to land this in the fringe and let it roll up. Won't discuss that too much, that's a bit of a duff, but we still made it to the green and we have a birdie look, although a little bit further away than I'd like after that tee shot. And an aggressive putt, but not the right line, and a tap in four, and we'll level par again, another two points to make us on at eight, and the first par three of the day. A long way downhill, but plays 195 on the card, but this is literally just a chippy eight iron. It's straight downhill and it's rock hard like I've said several times already so it's just a bit of a chip down there and hope it rolls down. And I've actually gone long so that 8 iron's gone 210 yards instead of the usual 155. And we're on the fringe putting down the hill. And that's way more aggressive than I'd like. And we have another little tester for par. Did get a good look at the line as it went past though. Lovely putt straight in the middle that's a good sign of things to come so level par through five and another relatively straightforward and potentially drivable par four especially with the rock hard ground we're playing on but that won't get anywhere near i've missed that left and that's going to be straight into the forest 
always seem to do that and we've got ourselves a bit of an interesting one here not really got a full backswing got to go over a tree that looked incredibly strange but managed to get enough club on that to get it over the tree and it's rolled away, onto the green albeit about 90 feet away so this is pretty much a full swing putter from downtown two putts from here would be absolutely sensational and it looks like we might do it that's a great effort especially by my poopy standards let's just tidy that one up that's wonderful and another par and because it's a competition today handicaps in play which is currently 1.6 so I get two strokes so one on here and one on the back nine this is just a four iron so that's the first really wild swing of the day actually pulled that way left and into a hedge so this is a provisional ball just trying to get this in place same club which I seem to have done although it's pitched in about the middle of the fairway and run an absolute mile into the fairway bunker so that's not a great layup considering found my ball though dropped it here just about have a shot I have to hit a rope hook round the bush that's truly incredible that was an 8 iron from about 170, the 150 marker just in front. And it's ended up rolling just past the flag and over the back and into one of the most disgusting spots on the entire golf course. And yeah, not really much to be said there. Probably just wanted to get it on the green, but tried to get cute with it. And now we're just in a bad position, just as bad as it was before. So that was a little duff and run onto the green and that's dribbled out and after a drop from the bush we're now looking at a putt for double and I've somehow made it and I've managed to scrape a point on that hole because of the shot so a double bogey becomes a net bogey and one point so that's our first drop of the day six iron off this eighth tee looking for about 180 yard carry and about 10 miles of roll perfect tee shot there actually rolled down even further than I thought and with the slope here I'm aiming at the right edge of that bunker in front of me and just trying to roll it round the slope and onto the green unfortunately as you can see there I didn't get the right bounce I was expecting as my face suggests complete and utter confusion the only good thing about that was it rolled through the bunker but look what I'm trying to do here this is a bit of a guess, just chipping it into the side of the hill and letting it roll down. Undercooked it a little bit, which is not the end of the world, but I've now got a very difficult putt for par. This hole is cut on a bit of a slope. But here it comes. Boom! Putting's on fire today, and that's a par from nowhere. And here we come on the last par three up the hill and a tough one off these back tees it's 177 yards but also plays uphill but there's a bit of wind helping and i'm actually hitting a time hoping to get it to roll up the hill the ball's on a great line but having just explained about what club i've hit i've realized that that's never going to be enough and i'm actually way short so out comes the texas wedge not for the first time today I'm gonna have to give this a smack up the hill through the fringe glass misjudged the line a little bit but actually probably better than I would have done with a chip from there and this for a par to finish oh yeah and another one poured in and that's actually quite nicely done in the end here comes the analysis not me best showing off the tee that's for sure one out of seven fairways hit is probably the worst I've ever done and only three greens following that doesn't make any great readings no birdies but eight pars no bogeys either but that one double really scuppered me but putts was incredible i don't think i've ever done that before so that was excellent and i'll see you next week for part two